Hey guys, I hope you're having a great day and you're enjoying the NBA playoffs like I am. It's looking like it's going to be a Bucks Warriors finals and I could not be more excited to see Giannis versus Curry. Well then, let's get right into the topic of this video. I want to share with you all who I think are the best non-all-star players in the NBA right now. But before that, I want to make a couple things clear. One, this is my opinion, not anyone else's, and it's not facts, of course. It's just who I personally believe are the best. And two, when I mean non-All-Stars, I mean players who have never played in an All-Star game at all. So people like Draymond Green or anyone else who didn't qualify this year but did before aren't going to be on this list. All right, let's begin. First up is the starting shooting guard for the Portland Trailblazers, CJ McCollum. He's averaged 20 plus points for the last four seasons, and he's clearly established himself as one of the top shooting guards in the entire NBA. The things preventing him from reaching that next all-star level include not being the true number one option for the Trailblazers, because we all know who that is, and also his defense, although he's picked it up in recent years. If you've been following the Trailblazers in this year's playoffs, you've seen firsthand how important CJ McCollum is, even with Lillard on the floor. Next up, we have the veteran point guard Mike Conley of the Memphis Grizzlies. It's kind of crazy to think that in his 12-year career, Mike Conley has never made the All-Star team, despite being one of the most consistent players, not just point guards, during his time in the league. And for some reason, it seems like he's getting even better as he just averaged his career high in points this past season. Always consistent on both offense and defense, the main things hurting him are the fact that he never put up those big offensive numbers you typically see in stars, and also the Western Conference is stacked. The next player on my list is Pascal Siakam, the power forward from the Toronto Raptors. He's everyone's favorite to win the Most Improved Player award, and looking at his stats and his jump from his second to third year, it makes perfect sense. With all the games Kawhi Leonard missed, Toronto needed Siakam, and he responded. He can definitely become an all-star if he improves his three-point shooting and becomes more of an impact defensively. The fourth player on my list is another big man, and that's Rudy Gobert of the Utah Jazz. His nickname isn't the Stifle Tower for no reason, and he's probably been the top rim protector for the last two or three years. It's crazy to think he got snubbed from the game this year, seeing as how he averaged career highs in almost every category, and he averaged a double-double for the third straight year. Being more of an offensive threat will definitely help his case next year. And I saved this player for last for a reason. I think Luka Doncic is the best non-all-star in the NBA right now, bar none. He just capped off one of the greatest rookie seasons of all time, possibly greater than Michael Jordan and LeBron James. He just was that good, simply dominating the competition right from the get-go. Oh yeah, mostly at the age of 19. That means he'll only be improving from here. And if this is the floor of his game, a few more seasons of this, and he'll pretty much settle in as one of the top 15 players in the league soon. The only thing stopping him from being an all-star is one more season of proving all his doubters wrong. So yep, that is my list of the best non-all-stars in the NBA right now. I had a few honorable mentions in mind, but due to a variety of reasons like lack of team success, lack of consistency, or injury concerns, I decided not to mention them here. But let me know if you think I missed out on someone. Um, thanks for watching this video and tune in for the next one. I wish that I